Hello everyone, I'm Simon Preston and welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. This is the channel where you come to for the latest in everything relating to Jamaican football. This is your hub for everything Jamaican football related. Now, I know you're looking at the title of this video and you're quite intrigued as to what exactly is the situation with Bozo. Before we get into all the details and what could or could not or anything of that sort of nature, let me, let us just talk about the reason why we're having this sort of discussion and tell you all that Shamar Boza Nicholson is having right now his best season in Belgium and he's having his second best ever season in Europe and why do we say that well his most prolific season in Europe came with MK Domjali in the 2018-2019 season where he netted 13 goals in 29 appearances. That is his most prolific season to date in Europe in terms of a goal scoring returns. Right now at Charleroi in Belgium, he has scored 10 goals in 15 appearances. This is better than the nine goals in 33 appearances that he scored last season and also the nine goals in 25 appearances that he scored in the season before that. So this is his third season with the club. After this season, he has one more year left on his contract. So you feel at some point, something will have to happen. Either Charleroi will give him a new contract, sell him, or let his contract run out, which I doubt that they will do because Belgian clubs always try to find a pinch or to just try to earn an additional dollar anywhere they may. Even means if they're selling it to another Belgian team, a Dutch team, a German team, they find a way to sell the player on. They find a way to make some sort of profit. Even if it's half a million euros more, they will find a way to do so. And that is essentially what is in their nature. So 10 goals and 50 in 15 appearances for Charleroi has put Charleroi fourth in the German Bundesliga right, right now. So let's talk a little bit about Shamar, right? and this latest interest that I don't think has been reported as well. And it comes from the northeast of England. Yeah, Newcastle United. All right, let's start with this important point here that there is discontent with the performances of Brazilian forward Joel Linton. Since Joel Linton moved to Tyneside in 2019, he's only mustered up 10 goals in 94 appearances in all competitions. In fact, this player has only ever scored six Premier League goals. Last season, he tallied four Premier League goals in 31 appearances, and in his first season at the club, he tallied two goals in 38 appearances. Apparently, he the fans, even though he might it's, it's split views amongst the fans. Some say, well, he's not delivering the output for a forward. And then you have the other fans that say, well, he's going to run and he's going to work hard and he's going to this and he's going to that. Well, so can, so can Shamar Nicholson. So can Shamar Nicholson. Shamar Nicholson can do that. He absolutely can do that. So at Newcastle, there's two, you could say, important individuals. Steve Nixon, the head of recruitment, and in addition to him, Kerry Morrow, who is the head of analysis. Now, these two individuals have watched Shamar Nicholson play over the past, I would say, six weeks or so, prior to the November international window, and of course their last game on over the weekend against Standard Liège, where they picked up that wonderful victory. So, what is the situation here? Well, the situation is quite simple. Steve Nixon and Kerry Morrow spoke with Jason Tindall, Simon Weatherstone, and Eddie Howe about the type of individual that Shamar Nicholson is. So there is interest in it. A January, mm, perhaps a one out of 10 chance of this happening. In the summer, probably three out of 10. So I know you might be asking, why do I look at this so low? Why do I have it at this so low? Well, the reality is this. 
he does have the caps, but Jamaica's ranking right now is not in our favour. And Newcastle United are not going to spend £30 million on him and make him their record signing. Even though they have the, the, the Saudi Arabian consortium to come, they don't think that Shamar is a player worth £30 million. And they know the situation with work permits and so on and so forth. It's not something that they're blind towards. There's something that they're aware of. The hope they're hoping is that Jamaica will be able to finish the World Cup qualifying campaign well so that come the summer that he could be a player that could replace Joe Linton. So that is something for us to keep a close eye on to. Honestly, right now as we speak, because in football you never say never. You never say never in football. Things have the ability to go from here to here just like that and we've seen that with national players we could talk about Damien Lowe we could talk about Omar Holness we could talk about a lot of players Mariapa we could talk about many 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 players but I believe in life that nothing happens before it's time and Shamar who is having the best season of his career right now in Belgium needs to continue along those lines don't get phased by what is happening on the outside. He needs to just focus on what is happening right now. So my personal thoughts about it is this. I believe that he should stay at the club until the end of the season. If he's doing what he's doing right now until the end of the season, then I would say he's ready for Germany. Or worst case scenario, the championship. Honestly, that's where I think that he has the ability to go. But what are your thoughts, Reggae Boys fans? What are your thoughts about this situation? If he was to do the last year of his contract at Charlotte, it wouldn't bother me. Because he's still honing his craft. I want him to go from the player that you need to give him five chances to score one to be that player that takes three chances to score one. If Shamar Nicholson becomes that sort of footballer that needs just three chances or even two to put away one, then I'm telling you, this guy is going to go very, very far. Very, very far. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for him. Reggae Boys fans, what are your thoughts? How do you feel about this situation? How do you look at it? Shamar? Newcastle United. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary. Take care, everybody.